everyone, welcome back to the Buff Bombshell Show. My name is Lauren Lotta, I am your host, and I am with the amazing Emma Heinemann, the posing pro. Good evening, Lauren. Hi there, Emma. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Are you ready for episode eight? Episode eight. Let's do this. Okay, so in episode eight today, we are going to cover the wellness pro category mm -hmm. from the Romania show, which yes. was the Romania Muscle Fest Pro, which happened approximately just over a week ago, so about 10 days ago or so. Um, so this, there's only four ladies, yes. correct? Only four In the ladies. pro lineup. Um, so we've got four quite different physiques here, <laughs> which is interesting, but this... I don't think this is going to be uncommon in wellness for the next 12 months. Yeah. I think it's going to be, um, it's really finding its feet. We've got yeah. some really clear ideas and ideals on mm -hmm. what the physique should look like. Um, I think the Olympia lineup. Oh my God. It's going to be, you, you know that? what? It's going to be, it's really going to set the standard yes. for wellness. Um, I think everyone's gonna have a lot more clarity, yeah. exactly what the judges are looking for, yeah. um, really who is wellness and who's not wellness. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I'm be, super excited for that. Yeah, groundbreaking, it's gonna make history because it's the first wellness in the Olympia. It so. is. Like, how amazing. How exciting. So uh, just before we quickly go into this, I just want to shout out NPC News Online because we are using your photographs. Unfortunately, the footage that we have is having a bit of a technical issue. So um, we're going to do our best we're to gonna explain. We're going to work from pictures. <laughs> we're going to do our best to explain using all the photographs so thank yeah. you so much for posting these yeah absolutely so um four ladies here mm -hmm. with quite different physiques um i'm gonna say that for me immediately i'm drawn to uh the two ladies on the left hand side so purple bikini and red bikini mm -hmm. um i th yeah. think from my notes that's um giselle yep giselle. on the left and then next one would be maria Maria, yes. Yeah, in the red bikini. Oh, no, no, that's actually Helena. Maria oh. is on the far right. Okay, okay. Super. So, yes, interesting. The For me, the lady in the blue bikini, she's a little bit, is she, so did she qualify as a wellness pro? So, the lady in blue, second from the right, her name is Mina, Mina. Polati. So, Mina is actually a fitness competitor and she oh. qualified for Olympia 2020 because she won Alicante this year. Okay. So she won, qualified in fitness, and she wants to qualify again for 2021, but she changed categories now. Does she want to do wellness instead, or is that the direction that she's going in? Possibly. Okay. And it could be for various reasons. Mm. As we know, the fitness category is very demanding in terms of the fact that you've mm -hmm. got that two-minute routine. Yeah. So. And it's it's an mm. intense routine. Obviously, if you fitness, you have to make sure that um, the routine has certain requirements. Yeah. It's an athletic gymnastics routine. Absolutely. Um, so maybe she's looking to make a move over to wellness, which obviously, mm -hmm. if you've got your pro card, you can move between categories yeah. quite freely. So interesting. Um, yeah. For me, she does look a little bit too built through the upper half yeah. um, for wellness. So it'll be interesting to see where she places in this lineup. Definitely. Um, I mean, for me, uh, we have Giselle, who is from Brazil, yes. who just earned her pro card the day before. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Isn't... Fantastic physique. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm not so much enjoying the pose from the lady on the far right, yeah, that's who is bit. Maria. Mm. For me, it doesn't showcase mm -mm. Um, the quads. Do you know you're not getting that that really full thick quad shape mm -hmm. in this in this front pose lovely lovely taper down through the waist and a, and a really good development through the front glute but nice. uh maybe a different pose would be more flattering for yes. her shape so definitely interesting i'm going to uh scroll to some different pictures. let's go to the next picture i want to see some glutes as well yeah so we've already seen this one let's keep flicking through Ooh, different this side. Is, this is their first side pose. So let's just have a little look at the comparison here. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So for me, definitely Giselle. Mm -hmm. um, she She's dominating in this pose. She's got those nice full round glutes. She's yeah. not too conditioned, which obviously in the wellness category, um, you've got to have the right genetics. Yeah. 
<laughs> genetics play a huge part in this. Uh, how how your how your body responds to coming into condition, mm. where you get lean, uh, where where you know you're you're mm. more prone to build more muscle is a huge factor. So I really feel like this category is built for a specific shape. I was just gonna say, and um, kind of unrelated to this. Uh, competition but there is another wellness lady called Yorishna now Yorishna was bikini a couple of years ago and she actually mm -hmm. retired from competing yeah and she, did. she um she won a show I think it was last week and um, she got her pro card yeah, in um, bikini, I, I think. think it what was it at it, Romania or I think it was in Romania but she first started competing in bikini in yes. 2015 and then she yeah. took a couple of years off because she said you know her legs were always too overdeveloped yeah. and she just she, she felt like she yeah, yeah she felt like she didn't have a place in bikini she yeah. didn't she wanted to train yeah. for her own enjoyment yeah. and you know the way she was training and how her body was responding just meant that she was outside of the the mm. bikini criteria so I think like you said she just completely retired from competing yeah, and, and then wellness that? came back but yeah. you should definitely check her out she's a fantastic definitely. wellness athlete that's for sure but it just goes to show like how much um this new category is just so it was so needed because there was a gap imagine, wasn't there can you imagine like so many women may be retiring or not feeling comfortable or having to diet down or do so much cardio because their natural genetic yeah, gifted shape. having to pull back from training yeah. and, and not enjoying your training yes. because you were trying to hit a certain criteria exactly. criteria with the physique so um so thank goodness wellness is actually in because it's going to cater for so many mm -hmm. uh women that can actually fit this category mm -hmm. now absolutely that's amazing let's put it let's be honest absolutely <laughs> so i'm gonna let's scroll. skip forwards and see if we can find a rear shot from these lovely ladies because obviously the rear shot is really important for wellness um they really want to see some Ooh. nice thick adductors hamstrings glutes yeah. uh yeah so oh, wow that's just amazing wow so giselle is again really dominating <laughs> here um wow that i'm really surprised at those glutes on the end from maria yes they're pretty impressive so for me she's just gone from third place to second place there yes with definitely. that rear shot which just goes to show you you know sometimes they say shows a one from the back which yeah. i think i think they are <laughs> is well definitely missed. becoming more and more apparent through um through all of the categories really yeah I think Absolutely. that's where the true condition is shown, isn't it? Yeah. And I think the lady with uh, the red bikini, which is Helena, mm. she, from for me, she's gone, like I said, from second into third mm. here because she just doesn't have the same thickness through the adductors yeah. and the hamstrings. Uh, and it, do you know what might actually not be doing her any favours? Mm. The hair. <gasps> It's really long. She's covering the top of her glutes. So yeah. she looks, it, they, they could be taken away from the shape. Um, so if her, if her hair just sat just a little bit higher, then we might actually see more of the glutes. More of the roundness. The roundness, because you can see re really in, in um, the two ladies on the end, um, Giselle and Maria, they've got tight, you can see the tiny waist. You can then also see the really yeah. full round glutes, which is really, really important. Um, and also, you know, in this rear pose, um, Mina, she looks, she looks good. She looks a lot better and more suited mm. to this category from the back as she does from the front pose. But again, you know, different lineup, different result. Yeah. Um, but for me, she's definitely slipping into fourth place here just yeah. for really because she's carrying a little bit too much too much muscle for this category yeah it's just um, not sharp as well you know like compared yeah. to these girls are they, because they're so developed in the glutes they've really got that sharp tie in she... so yeah let's um let's Fantastic. see who uh won this yes i'm hoping they showed the awards photos what what's your um prediction well i'm gonna start with fourth and i'd, I'd definitely say mina would go mm -hmm. in there just because from fitness to wellness I mean, that's a tough category to crack unless you've already got the right criteria and yeah. like two completely different things. So yeah. Mina would automatically be fourth. Mm -hmm. um, I think the lady in red, third, and then mm -hmm. I, Giselle first, so which means Maria goes second. second. Yeah, but it is so like, it, especially now we've looked at the rear shot. I mean, Maria here, she's, she, she's not strong in that side pose mm -hmm. compared to the other girls. But it's just from the back. That from she the back, sort of those glutes, her. they're <laughs> popping. 
So we have some footage here from Instagram Romania Muscle Fest Pro, and um, we're just going to call out the winners as we see them. So in fourth place, we have Mina mm -hmm. from Finland, and then third place was Helena. Mm -hmm. Second place, Maria, Maria, as you predicted, and then our winner is Giselle, uh, which is no surprise there <laughs> at all she looks superb so we unfortunately don't have a winner's picture but as we can see from the video footage um yeah that yeah. was your top well that's your, your only four that's your top four so yeah. um and that's their placings yeah and, so. and congratulations to giselle for winning the pro card the day before and winning the pro show absolutely like, that's huge. a really great result <laughs> yeah that's amazing Fantastic. All right, so we're gonna do shout outs and we're gonna start with Emma's pro. Yes, my pro shout out this week is Whitney Jones, who is a fitness pro. Um, Whitney is a mum, first of all, let's shout out to that. I've watched some yeah. of her um, YouTube series and some of her other IGTV stuff. And her, like she, she is, such a busy lady yes like i literally watch her do um school run then go straight to the gym <laughs> and yeah go into rehab and then working on her routine yeah she's a busy lady yeah so she's also owner of the pro physiques and fearless underscore yeah so sure she's two is, times but... miss fitness olympia and she won 2018 and 2019 which means that she has an instant qualification as always yes. every year but she is doing 2020 as well. Oh my gosh. How exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be major. So. I think when the, the fitness females, when they when when they get it all right, it is so impressive. I know the routines and everything. They're like superheroes. This is just look at this. Oh wow. That's a press up move where mm. they press up and literally fly into the air. I um <laughs> was when I was watching some of her videos, she is actually injured. Yes quite she, um i think she has a, a knee injury but she's just working around that yeah she loves it she's she just loves she just it keeps going and going this really is... i just find these ladies so inspirational and i think she was i think she maybe used to do cheer at school that's a nice tuck jump wow that's a great tuck jump. so impressive yeah so let's just have a look at her over here olympia Oh, wow. Yeah, she's, and she's one of those athletes that just brings it on all levels. You know, um, the figure, the routine, the presentation. So beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Definitely. Goodness. So that is Whitney. True, true superhero athlete. Yeah, that is Whitney and she looks just amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, I think she also PTs. Um, wow fitness model obviously mom super mom yeah and oh before wow. and after we this love the these pictures love it wow okay. how crazy is that such a good transformation i love it so inspirational wow. wowza i wonder what the time scale is on that but that's pretty oh tw uh, that's nearly 10 years jeez 2010 to 2019 so that is just a really fine example of the the journey, the time scale, how much really goes into this. And it's it's a complete like lifestyle switch, isn't yeah. it? You know, you have to commit a hundred percent if you want to be the best of the best. Yeah. And she really level. does. You can see that in her in all of her videos, you know, she is an all round athlete. Yeah. Um, consistent with a capital C. Really competitive, amazing. So can't wait to see what she brings to the stage this year because it's gonna be insane. Oh, Absolutely. Let's not check the one of the guns. But there you go. That is Whitney, you guys. And that Fantastic. is Emma's pro shout out. Yes, go check her out. Give her a like, give her a follow. Um, check her out on Instagram. It's Whitney Jones underscore IFBB pro. Nice. And then um, for my shout out, I've gone for wellness. And this is a girl called Nick Kane. Oh. And uh, she's fairly unknown and but she's coached by Robert Phil Wellness, so she's looking to compete. But she's got great shape, oh, which is wow. why I chose her. And she's, wow. Oh. Yep, see, like, you know what I mean? She's just got the whole, like, package she's, for Yeah, wellness, she's so. lower dominant. <laughs> um, you can really see that 
this little pop over here off the yeah, side. Nice. Nice. Tiny yeah. waist. Um, really great development through the lower half. Yes. Um, she's definitely going to be someone to watch. I wonder when yeah. she's going to compete. Do you know? I hope she'll do something next year mm -hmm. because I feel like she's getting to that point where she's going to be ready. But yeah. I have my eye on certain people where I, I literally watch you guys. Where is you know? she based? Do you know? Um, I think she's US. Is she the US? Yeah. So she's quite... She's Robert good. Wellness is building a really strong team as well, isn't he? Well, he is the wellness creator. Well, this so. is true. <laughs> but yeah, he definitely is building a really great reputation and churning out some um, good pretty impre athletes. impressive wellness ladies, that's yeah. for sure. So, uh, yes, Nick Kane, we are watching you and um, we'll see you next year. We can't wait to see your journey. Again, give her a like, give her a follow. Yes. Nick Kane on Instagram. So there you go, you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. We really appreciate your support. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.